What's up? How's it going? So let me first explain how I'm recording this video or why I'm recording it. It's not going to be the normal episode of Imagination Unlimited that you've come to expect over the past almost year of this happening. But a few years ago when I used to do YouTube, I made gaming videos and then I started to make like kind of what were called vlogs, but it was more just me sitting talking to my phone for five to ten minutes about some sort of idea or topic and I would upload it directly to YouTube from my phone. And I haven't done that in so long and the thought process behind every single video, there's multiple cameras, I gotta choose music, it's, it's a pretty high production value for just one person. And I've been missing just sitting down, talking directly to the camera and uploading it to YouTube, no cuts, keeping in the blunders. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And I am also, pretty geeked up off this cold brew coffee. Definitely my, my drug of choice. And I'm sitting in a rest stop off of I-75, just hanging out, waiting for some, some lot lizards, if you know what I mean. Uh, but no, it is, actually I don't know what the date is, March 11th, March 12th, one of these days. And it's pretty much been a year since, maybe it's March 13th. It's been a year since COVID started right at least in the united states and i wanted to make a video at the turn of the new year kind of reflecting on 2020 and what i learned from it i made that blog post but i wanted to make a video because i obviously i'm always taking photos and videos on my phone and just with my cameras but i didn't because i think for all of us the year 2020 ended in march honestly and then we entered this weird time zone i don't know it just Everything unexpected and all this chaos. I mean, you know this, you've experienced it with, with me. And it's weird because we've all had this shared experience of dealing with COVID, yet it's so different in depending on where you live, state to state, what your living situation looks like. Um, and I basically just wanted to come on here and talk about uh, just how weird it is, honestly. Um, in the last... This is what you're gonna notice in this video as I say a lot of ums and ahs that usually get cut out in the other episodes or the other videos that I put out, but um, shit, I just did it right there, not even on purpose. The past year has been very interesting. I'm repeating myself at this point. Okay, I've already been talking for two minutes and 40 seconds. Like, focus, get to the point. Um, I, did it, I did the thing again. But I've been struggling to find the correct words to kind of summarize how I felt about the past year. But as of late, I have been just struggling so much with focus and productivity. Hence the last video where I was kind of making fun of myself for, for not being productive. But the focus is, I really don't know how to describe it. Because normally I am really, really interested in getting on the internet and looking up all this different stuff, but I feel like I've almost hit an information overload. Um, maybe I hit it a few weeks ago and I've, I feel like I'm finally coming back now, but I guess I just wanted to say that everybody is, and I feel like people are talking about it a lot less because like we're on the tail end of COVID, but just the, the mental toll that it, this is, this is played on all of us is, is, uh, I think been grossly understated. At least I haven't talked about it as much. Um, I feel like we're all just trying to move forward while COVID is still here. Obviously people are starting to get vaccinated. I am looking to get vaccinated as soon as possible, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. It's like, who would have thought all this stuff would have happened? Um, this is exactly what I did not want to have happen with this video. I thought I would, I thought I had a clear plan of what I wanted to talk about and it's going to be smooth and it was go, but it's not, it's, I'm kind of just speaking in generalities. Um, but yeah, I guess all in all, I'm really excited with Imagination Unlimited. I've went back and forth where I was like, okay, I'm really doing weekly videos and then I would kind of disappear. And that's not because of a lack of, it's not because of a lack of enthusiasm at all. It's more just like, dealing with life and I feel like life normally has like these ups and downs these troughs and valleys or wait is it trough crests and valleys you know what I'm saying ups and downs but they've just been so much more um just higher highs and lower lows for me at least over the past specifically four to five months of just like I'm just so sick of this shit I mean 
early in earlier in COVID, I made the comparison in the episode of Imagination Unlimited to Groundhog Day. Now it's like Truman Show and Groundhog Day and Ready Player One and all these things. Just like I'm so sick of I'm so sick of just living in my ho- own head. Honestly, uh, <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, but I've just been living in my own head rent free. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to talk for a second and just say hello. Apologize for not um, being as prompt with the episodes of Imagination Unlimited, but that is not because of a lack of enthusiasm or excitement. It's there. I just can't seem to focus myself. I will say one thing I learned on a podcast this week was this concept called context switching, where basically humans are really bad at taking focus from one thing and going to another. Um, Perfect example is like, honestly, TikTok, like, you're going back and forth between these videos and it's, it takes a second for your brain to focus. It's almost like when you go outside or you, you turn bright lights on, it takes a second for your eyes to like adjust to the exposure, right? Our brains are that same way. That's kind of, that's not the best metaphor, but just go with me. Okay. And the internet and really all of technology is horrible for that. So I've been trying to develop some sort of personal protocol that allows me to focus on the task at hand for an hour or two or however long it needs to be focused on and then go to the next thing rather than trying to edit this episode of Imagination Unlimited while looking at my Instagram, while looking at TikTok, while doing, while texting people. It just, I feel like everybody has a lot on their digital plate. Um, I just spit everywhere as I said that. So I think that probably will be the end of this video. Um, Or I guess I should say this diatribe of talking to myself in the car. Um, I hope you're doing well. If you want to leave a comment talking about anything that I just mentioned in this video, or if you want to answer, I do actually have a question for you. Of all the episodes of Imagination Unlimited so far, what have you liked? Have you liked the more like comedic sketches, the more serious TED Talks, like the Casey Neistat video, or a mix of both? Um, I'm trying to figure out what my content plan looks like in the future and I'm kind of starting to think of it like a five course meal which honestly I've actually never had a five course meal I don't really go to expensive restaurants but as far as I understand it you get one meal that's like okay this is like an appetizer that tastes like this and then you you get different meals and I think I kind of want Imagination Unlimited to be like that a variety show where each week it's something a little bit different but over time you realize it it does follow like a a certain pattern of of things which i'm not gonna spoil that i'll let you maybe think about it yourself and if you've watched me talk for eight minutes right now um that i hope you've learned something and i'm gonna go continue driving home and i'm gonna drink the rest of this coffee and listen to some good music and a good podcast um and i will say if you have any podcast recommendations or um podcast recommendation really any sort of audio content please send it to me in some capacity with my new job as a hedge fund manager I have a lot of time to listen Um, (laughs) I love saying that my job is a hedge fund uh, hedge fund manager Um, so send me any recommendations of that sort and yeah this is honestly I'm just sitting in my car talking to myself but things like this remind me how cool the internet is. I think often I find myself jaded more recently just because it all seems so commercialized and more planned out. So I wanted to offer a little bit of spontaneity of me just talking directly to the camera and then I'll click pause. And then within 20 minutes, I'll be driving home and it's going to be up live on YouTube, which is, is really crazy that you can share a message with however many people in the world decide to watch this. So Yeah, the internet's a cool place. Hope you're doing well. And hopefully we can all get vaccinated and go to Ibiza and have some fun. So I'm going to go. Looks like there's some lot lizards out there. And I'm going to go say what's up. (laughs) Okay, I need to stop talking before I get myself canceled.